Hello, welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, I'm going to be doing something slightly different, which I haven't done for quite some time now, but it's not a showcase, but rather a tutorial on how to attach a rotor head onto a wheel suspension to create a buildable, spinnable platform, where you can see right behind me acting as a helicopter rotor. Yes, when people make rotors for helicopters, typically what they'll do is stack rotors on rotors on rotors in order to create a fast moving object, essentially, or rather going for multiple projectors to create the intermittent blades that you can see spinning around. But no, what the Nighthawk did, which I showcased not too long ago, was use a rotor head onto a wheel suspension, then push the wheel suspension to a high speed, and it creates this effect that you see right before you. So yes, you do have to use a mod to actually make this function, but once you've added the rotor to the wheel suspension, you can remove the mod, and it's all perfectly fine. You don't even have to have the mod active to spawn it in the world, you won't get any kind of warnings or anything like that. It'll be treated as a pure vanilla design, but you do need to have the mod to attach it on. So to get started, what you're going to need is a mod called Rotor Wheels. There'll be a link to it in the description below, and you just slot it in through the mod menu, and then you're ready to go. The way this works is basically going to add a command line to the wheel suspension block, then type in chat, slash wheels, there it is, and it'll automatically add on what you type in the command line. So for a demonstration of how to set this up, what I'm going to do is put down a steel block, and I'm going to put down a random suspension. Here we go, we're going to go for the off-road wheel suspension, 3x3, three three. there we go, on a large block grid, and I'm going to put a battery right in front of it, to make sure it has a little bit of power. So up with the access panel, and there we go. So it doesn't really like too much at the moment, but what I've got to do now is just simply remove the wheel, there we go, and now we're going to come into the access point right here. So inside here, I'm going to find the wheel suspension block, come into the custom data, and now I'm going to type in a small rotor. There's lots of different options you can see on the workshop page, but I'm going to stick with the small and the large rotor. You can even attach wheels on this way, if that's what we want to do. But no, here's a small rotor, I'm going to press OK, and now we're basically ready to go. So looking at like so, there we are, and I'm going to bring up the chat, and now I'm going to type in slash wheels. So pressing enter, and there we go, it just pops on to the wheel suspension, and now we can build off it. So we go, putting some steel block on top. There we are. And now I can come down into this. Find the wheel suspension once again. There it is, coming all the way down to the override. Now I can move all the way up. There we go, looking up to here. And there we are, it's now spinning around at high speeds, which I can improve, I can make it go even faster. And that's what we want to do. Of course, if you go too fast, weird things start to happen. So do be aware of that. And that's kind of what the creator did over there. They finally tuned it to make it so it's not too glitchy, but it works perfectly fine. But no, over there, that is an abomination, so I'm just going to stop that. So in here, down we come, and I'm going to put that back down to 0%. There we are. And I'm going to come down to a stop. There it is. Now it's ready to be removed. So we're moving on the steel blocks once again. There we go. Now it's time for me to attach on the large rotor head. So back into here, custom data once again. I can now come into here and type in a large rotor. There we go. And that's the exact same thing. I move away, bring up the chat, slash wheels, and there it is. So what I'm going to do now is now build it up slightly, put on some actual blades, make it like a helicopter rotor, like the one you see over there. Then what I'm going to do is go back to the main menu without editing it out, remove the mod in front of your eyes, load up the world, and just show you it's still all functioning. So with this, it's not going to be very pretty, but I'm going to find the panels. There they are. Now I'm going to come up like so. And just move it across to about six. I'll do so. It's going to be seven on all sides. There we are. And seven over there. Then seven over there. Power could change the color of the end ones. Make it a bit fancier. Don't really need to do that. But it just make it a bit easier to watch from a distance. And then all I've got to do is set this up. To actually go and move it around. So into here once again. All the way down. And I'm going to put the propulsion override. A little bit up. I'm also going to set a speed limit to be a little bit lower. Now you can see all the way above me, it's now spinning. It's going to get faster and faster and faster. Looking at like so. Oh, got a hit into it. Do be aware of that because if you aren't far mode, that will probably kill you. And there we go. It's now getting ever so faster, gradually getting faster and faster. And that's what it looks like. I am quite impressed how the shadows are still working. I was expecting them to glitch out a little bit. But no, there is that. But now what I'm going to do is save the game. There we go. Now I'm going to exit the main menu. Come to load games, ignoring all of this, into the settings, mods. And once it finally loads, it will take a little bit of time, because I do have quite a lot of mods installed on this PC. Not in this world, but there is a hell of a list over here. Yes, I've got to remove the rotor wheels mod. Out it comes, still got them on there because that's from another showcase, and a few more that I'm planning to do. 
Press OK, OK, load the world. Here we go, I'm now back in the world, and as you can see, it's still spinning around all fine and dandy. And if I was to come up to it, copy this. Oh, copy fails, I need to actually grab that bit. There we go. Now I'm going to pop it down in here. There we go. And now it starts up and works all properly. Now, with the way this has been set up, means you can control it from the cockpit like a regular wheel. So you will need to separate this from that control to make sure you don't actually start spinning this around when you actually want to move a land vehicle. But I will do that in just a moment. So we're going to go over to here and actually stop this up. There we go, it's now coming to a stop. Can I stop it with my body? No, I cannot. I'm just going to get bounced away. What I'm going to do next is then put a cockpit down. So in here, finding a cockpit. That'll do quite nicely. We'll just go for the default one for now. Into here. Hopping into this. And then also move forwards like a regular land vehicle. As you can see, we can now spin it around like so. So you've got that option. If that's what you want to do. You could even make one of those twin propellers or twin rotors aircraft. Got what they call it. I think they're Ospreys or something like that. Yes, you could make one of them and actually have it controlled like so. So when you hold forwards, to actually move forwards with your ship. You can then start the rotors and spin them around all nice and fast. That's entirely up to you. You could always make the ship. The Avenger from GTA, I can't remember this actual name. One of them where the big old rotors at the front can go from a hovering mode and then into a forward flying mode. Entirely up to you. But yes, it works completely fine without having the mod installed. You just won't be able to use the chat commands to add anything onto it. And there we go. That is how that was done and how you can set it up yourself. Because it is a very nifty thing to do if you want to have a fast moving rotor or a fast moving propeller of some kind. So yes, it will be linked to the mod in the description below. Do you download the player on yourself? Highly recommend you do. I'll be back with another video somewhere soon. Bye bye.